a we just got to the hotel for those of you who didn't know tampa pro i'm sorry not tampa pro new york pro is actually in tampa this year so i got a hotel room at the host hotel and we don't have a bad view it's like right on the bay so that's nice and the good thing about this room too is the bathroom lighting is legit. A All right, guys, so we are all checked in to the hotel. We have a really nice view overlooking the Bay Area. And what we have going on today, athletes checking in at 4 p.m. So I'm just gonna kind of like rest, um, answer some emails, get some work done, and then I'll probably head down there in a couple hours. And then right after that, I'm gonna get tan and we're gonna start relaxing getting my mind right um for the for the stage tomorrow so really excited this is this is going to be a big show um i think new york pro in general is pretty big but um now that it's in florida i have a feeling a lot of people will want to be here so and look what is so cool they have a bodybuilder menu for just the athletes so we can get some really plain stuff oatmeal egg whites um you know grilled chicken plain filet um, some veggies sweet potato brown rice white rice so i think that's really cool but then on the other side is that good good yes yes just finished up my third meal of the day, which just consisted of some turkey and a slice of provolone cheese. Um, but yeah, yesterday was my refi day and I had some pretty good tasty carbs to fill up on. Um, so today I'm not going to go quite as hard. And yeah, finals are finals. Athletes check-in is going to be at 4 o'clock today, so I'm going to head down there now. And then I'm going to have to get tanned up later, so you guys know the drill. We've, we've done this. We've done this many times. I also wanted to mention that uh, this week I've weighed in at my lowest. Um, so my weekly average weight is probably going to be down, but um, I was hitting 115. I even hit 114 this week. And in the past, like I've just kind of been averaging out around 116. So I know that the grind this week has paid off because my weight is down. Um, I look tighter in my progress videos. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see how that translates on stage. It was really cool to hear um, there's a guy from at Team Atlas who did a kind of like an analysis on my physique. So there's this athlete that's been competing um, in these, I don't know, she's like three or four shows now. She hasn't been placing, but like, uh, I'm sure she's got the eye of a few, a few people, but she can be the next Janet, like hundred percent. Like her structure is ridiculous. Um, you know, she's, let me show you. It's this girl named Teresa Miller, I believe. Um, I, I didn't really know about her before this year. Um, I just saw her on the stage and like, I saw, I saw a couple live streams of her. I have, I have not seen her in person or I've been at any of her shows. But like I've noticed like her structure, obviously her beauty, we can see that too. Um, you know, like the fullness of her muscles and stuff too. Like this girl, I, I don't know who coaches her, I think it's like her friend or her I, I some it's not it's not one of the top fifteen coaches that, that coaches this girl. But I mean if this girl was in the, the right hands, this is like a top six Olympia, like next year, like top ten this year. Like Gar like this girl's not placing at shows, she should be like winning shows like back to back to back to back like like without question like with these this is like perfect bikini genetics and look like the proportion of like her like long limbs who are flat like if you don't if you see this girl and you don't automatically think of like a janet land you're blind like to be honest so like let me just show you um like a janet versus her like 
same structure. This girl actually has fuller muscle than Janet, to be honest. Like, look at this. Like, flat, flat waist, perfect, like, lengths of limbs. Like, torso is perfectly proportioned to the legs. Like, this is a flawed structure. The only problem is, like, she needs more muscle density. And, like, there's, like, little areas, like, you know, like, her hair's covering a lot of, like, the hair's covering her glutes and her thing. Um, she does have, like, some pretty, a few technical errors in her posing. I've seen, like, when she, like, drops her glutes when she walks. Like, her stage presence is, like, a Janet quality stage presence. Like, that's not the problem at all. Like, she she goes up there and she looks like she wants to win and she's, like, confident. And that's, like, one of the main parts of bikini. But um, she needs to work on, like, obviously, like, the posing and the muscle density in her glutes and you no know, big leader. Like, this is this girl is a natural athlete, one hundred and fifty percent natural athlete here, and you know she has such crazy potential that it's like, it's not a shame that she's not placing. It's just like I hope that she, um, you know, lives it through and she reaches you know where she should be and she should be top ten Olympian this year, not you know fourth callouts at these easy shows. So yeah, I hope this girl um, you know excels in the sport and this is someone definitely that we should be watching out for because. This is some, you know, this is some serious damage waiting to happen if this girl, uh, you know, figures out the formula and figures out what she needs to do. So, yeah, I want, I never, I never done one of these shots before because it's like very rare that this happens. But like, yeah, this, uh, very, very impressed by this, just the structure and like genetics. Like, you know, when you just see like, you know, like in bodybuilding, where you just like a freak and you're just like, wow, if this person like knew what they were doing, like, 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 um, a Ronnie Coleman for example, right? Like, before, like he was all like, you know, like the potential was there. And the second he uh, he was coached by uh, you know uh, Chad Nichols, he blew up and like won the Olympia. Like that was that was literally like he wasn't placing. He got the Olympia, was like last place, last place, last place. And then someone like took him under his wing and he's Mr. Olympia. Like that is what could easily happen to this girl, is what I'm trying to say. Which was really cool um, to get his feedback. But um, yeah, I I was blown away by it. But anyway. Um, he kind of uh, gave me some solid advice about, um, I'm actually going to trim up my hair a little bit. I'll see if I can um, insert a picture here, but you'll see in my stage shots that my hair is just a little bit too long. It's kind of like sitting right on top of my butt <laughs> and kind of covering, covering it up. And uh, it was brought to my attention that... Um, if we shorten it up a little bit and so and expose a little bit more of the lower back, um, it can really change your shape and, um, you know, just, I guess, emphasize maybe your, your glute shape. So I'm going to try that, see how that works. Um, and you know, it, it kind of comes down to like all of these really tiny details, but, um, I was really happy with how I looked at my last show when I I think my muscles looked the fullest they've looked. Um, my glute hamstrings were the leanest that they've been to, to date. Now granted, I think I could still continue to condition and it would still make me look. So that's probably what I'm gonna do uh, moving forward. But um, yeah, I, I'm excited to get on stage tomorrow and see, see what I look like. And as always, just kind of bring my energy to the stage regardless if I win or lose you know and I think that's what's been um, mentally getting me past you know the expectation of like winning or losing is just kind of like no matter what you know just impact people with your energy on stage and like that's all you can ask for is to um, to move them in some way so that is my intention going into tomorrow but only time will tell. So uh, I'll check back in with you guys later. Peace.
All right, we are number 110, New York Pro. Let's go, baby. Okay, so what's really cool, well, yeah, we got some some of these um, Celsius drinks, but look at this. They gave all of the athletes a cookie from my cookie dealer, and I got a Dunk a Teddy chocolate chip. Look at that thing. This thing is pretty heavy. I've, I've seen people post about the cookies from my cookie dealer. I think I actually follow them, and the cookies look insane, so it's going to be really hard to set this aside until after tomorrow, but we finna do it. All right, y'all, you know the drill. This is the giddy up, big old sweatpants. So loose tee. This is what I wear when I go get tan. Just something super cash. So let's do it. Time to go get dark. So we are up super early this morning um my tan is at 6 20 a.m which i think is a little ridiculously early um so i got my base coat on last night and this morning is when they put the top coat on so it's gonna be like really dark and the only thing about getting it done early is that when the top coat goes on if it gets wet even a little bit it's like messed up <laughs> so i always keep um mini pro tan um tanner on hand just because girl i'm girl i'm usually peeing all morning and so if you have like even just a little dribble your shit's whacked, okay? And then you gotta re, get it redone, retouched up. So that's a pro tip. Bring bring like an extra little bottle of um, protein with you. Not even like a full one. You can get like a mini one um, because that shit will happen. Um, so yeah, that's that's where we're at right now. It's side, so um, I think you, even if I were to practice some posing, the lighting's not gonna be great. So yeah. Check back in. This bathroom lighting is so much better than the last hotel. It's like blinding light. We got hair done. We got makeup done. And now we just kind of relax. So I trimmed my hair up a little bit, as you can see. Um, we talked about how in my last shows, my hair was actually too long. Like I felt, it, I felt it touching my butt when I did my back pose. And I think it kind of was covering. So we trimmed it up a little bit. So hopefully make a difference. All those Take six steps towards the back. Face front and walk back.
All right, guys, pre-judging is over. Made it back to the hotel room. And it's looking like we got second call outs this time again. Um, which, you know, I got pulled out in the second group, but they do shuffle people around. So it was kind of confusing. I had to like go ask somebody. I was like, what, what call outs was that? Um, but anyways, just, you know, super grateful that I even got second call outs. Um, you know, I think I still have work to do. I still have more conditioning to do. At least I think that's, you know, my biggest setback is I just need to come in more peeled, like a lot more peeled. So, um, that's fine. I, I didn't have a whole lot of time since my last show and this show, it's like one week apart. So I didn't really get to make lots of big changes, but I think I made some small changes. So that just means I got to keep on grinding and keep making improvements. Um, I am back in the hotel room though. I just ordered some food, final start at seven and still going to have a good time tonight. I'm excited to, um, get to go out as you guys know I think if my, my last birth my last birthday <laughs> last week was my birthday I really didn't get to celebrate a ton just because uh, it was on a Wednesday and it was during a peak week so it's a Saturday I'm in Tampa um, go figure the New York Pro is in Tampa and so I think we're gonna go out and kind of celebrate my birthday um, but yeah I'll update you guys and hopefully you guys are seeing some of the changes too. Um, I definitely got my weight down uh, lower this week. I hit a new low, so I know I'm on the right track with making changes. Oh my God, it feels so good to like, <laughs> it feels so good to take your bikini off. My God, if you're a dude and you're watching my channel, you're so lucky. <laughs> Girls have to just put on the most uncomfortable things. Don't even get me started about the heels. Anyways, um, I just put my sweatpants on. I just put my tee on. And I'm chilling. I got like five hours before I have to like even head back down there. So, man, it feels good. I also really enjoy like getting the hang of, of show day. It's so much more relaxing for me now. Gosh, I can remember... You know, when I first started competing, like show day is exhausting. You're like mentally on edge all day. You're nervous. And I still get, you know, jitters when I go on stage, but like I have a routine down. Yeah, I have a routine down and, um, you know, I'm just much more relaxed as I wait for prejudging to start. And then once prejudging is over, you know, you just, you come back to the room, you rest, you put your sweatpants back on, you take your jewelry off, your bikini off, you get to eat, rest, and recover. Now, one day, hopefully one day soon, I actually do well enough to make top 10, possibly even top five. That would be crazy. I'd probably shit my pants if that happened. Um, but usually, um, you're probably still a little bit more on edge, like the better you do at prejudging, because you know at finals, you know, the calls are going to be a lot closer, you know, the stakes are higher, I guess. So I can imagine that's probably what it's like, but I'm not there yet, but I will be. I know I will be soon. Just got to keep grinding. Damn it. Got to keep putting in the work, which is cool, man. I love, I love transforming. Um, I am like, when I take a step back and look at the bigger picture, I am so proud at how far I've come. Um, like I've noticed there's a lot of people who will give you kind of some unsolicited advice or, or tell you that like, I think you're missing something or you just need to do this better. But I'm like, bro, I've been putting in the work. Like, of course you're looking at what I'm missing, but if you looked at me the way I was before I started and now look at me, like I've definitely made changes. So the sport is just always it's always progressive. It's always evolving and changing and like you never stop. So, so if you can get used to that, you're in the clear, man. Um, and I think I am getting used to that. You know, it's very easy to like be hard on yourself when you don't place, right? When you have that expectation, but you know, everyone's amazing. Everyone looks great. And at the end of the day, you got to go back and look at how far you've come. Right? So I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with how I look today. Um, 
and I can't wait to see some stage shots, so I'll share those with you soon. Yo. Yo.